The advocates who work to help people find housing say the pandemic has exacerbated the need for housing in our suburbs. We talk about how PRISM is trying to help in today's newsmakers. We are definitely seeing a rise in our numbers of people who are calling us looking for housing, whether they're um, calling us from a hotel that they're currently staying in or people are living in their cars or people have been given notice by their property owner, the landlord, and they don't know where they're going to go. So the number has gone way, way up. Our calls, our phone is ringing off the hook. And something we were talking earlier I thought was interesting related to the pandemic on why the calls are going up. Um, people are not able necessarily to have both parents working because of childcare. Yes, definitely. We have a a large number of single moms or parents where um, they were the primary wage earner and they've, they're having to stay home with their children and um, they just can't go back and work the hours that they used to be able to. All right, and this is kind of um, putting stress on you guys being able to handle this many calls. How's that going? Um, I mean, we are all getting a little fried. <laughs> um, it's a lot of people who are very anxious about something that's very serious. And so when we're not able to return calls as quickly as we would like, people are upset. And so um, we're doing our best. We're trying to build our capacity, though, to take these calls. Mm -hmm. And then when you do, um, you are able to help someone. It's a very time intensive process. Is that right? Yes, it is. It can take a very long time to um, assist a person from moving, whether it's into a more affordable location or moving from um, not being housed into, a, into an apartment. It takes a lot of work. And so um, it's very time intensive. All right. That's one of the reasons why you guys are hiring a housing locator. Tell me about this. Yes, I am so excited for this position. So we get referrals all the time from people who are like, we need... Um, can you help me find housing? And we don't have the time. We'll give them a housing list and tell them some referrals, but that's about it. So we're hiring a full-time position. Um, we did get a little bit of funding from the city of Golden Valley for this position as well. And um, they're just going to be able to take on calls and take on, you know, fill out applications with people, um, take them to look at apartments and do some advocacy on their behalf to landlords if they have like a little blip on their history or things like that. All right, and I know this can be a can be a hard position, a stressful position, but there's some rewards too because when you are able to help someone, that's a yes. good conversation. It's very rewarding, and when people find out that a we're going to pay their rent or that they got accepted for an uh, an apartment, many times there's tears that fall, and you're like, I'm gonna you're gonna make me cry, <laughs> stop crying. So when we're able to help, it's great. And, you know, housing is a right for people. It's a human right. So it's very difficult to work with folks when we're working in a place where some people are able to live in a safe and stable environment and others aren't. And quickly, you guys are hoping to have this in place before the housing moratorium ends. Is that right? Yes, the moratorium ends on June 1st. And so um, evictions will be able to start up again. And we are um, trying to get that person hired by then. All right. Allison Hoberg with PRISM, thank you for being thank here you. today. Thank you for having me. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.